right, so this is one of the combinations you find in Plum Blossom's Falling and Plum Blossom Hands. It is kind of a retreat move. So you're here doing some sort of combination, and then you eventually fall back and then come to Bung Da. So it'd be maybe something like this. One, two, three, four. You fall back because maybe you see something. So you're going in and you're hitting, but then maybe you see this cocked and ready to go. And then you come back. It might not be that clean. It might just be that you're getting a little resistance. You're hitting, you're hitting, you're hitting, and you're not seeing anything in particular, a hook, but you decide to just fall back because you feel like there might be something coming your way. And maybe there isn't, but you fall back anyways. And then you come back in. So all together looks like this. If they decide to come forward, and that's where they might catch that move here. And then coming back in. You'll feel the right time to use this if you've really got someone on the run and they're cowering and they're turning away and you can just hit them, you won't really need to use this. But if someone's really dug in, and from the very first move, you feel this forward pressure, this cutting pressure. That's the right time to fall back and then from there jump out, of course, or come back with bung da. But anyways, all together. And it could be off of any combination opening up, you know. I could be at any point doing stuff. And then I just decide to fall back. And again, maybe you perfectly dodge something that goes over your head, or maybe you just decide to fall back and he doesn't throw anything. 